morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching from. My name is Nos Francisca, as usual, I'm here once again to present to us another health tip, another measure you can be taking regularly in order to keep fit, to keep healthy, okay, and look good within and without, okay. The health tip um, I would like to bring to you, to my fans this morning, is ways to control high blood pressure without medication. You don't have to be pumping, pumping up pills every morning, every day, in order to checkmate your blood pressure. More especially those that are genetically um, have high blood pressure okay so there are ways there are things you can do that can help you then medication can be the last resort okay but if you indulge in all these measures believe you me you will go a long way to checkmate your blood pressure as we all know the ideal value of blood pressure in any for anybody is 120 over 80 millimeter mercury when once is above 120 it is optimal 120 to 139 it is regarded as optimal but the basic the ideal value of blood pressure is 120 over 80 millimeter mercury between 121 to 139 is regarded as optimal but when once it goes higher than 139 to 140 over 90 it then means such patient or such individual has high blood pressure and uh, even if it's not it's a new uh, issue with you you should check yourself in many ways to find out why your blood pressure went up as high as 140 over 90 or above so there are ways we can control high blood pressure or blood pressure without medication okay when you do all these things you will go a long way uh, to bring, minimize to bring down your value the value of your blood pressure each day so without much ado let us consider some of these uh, measures we can take one of them is losing extra weight this is more especially those that are obese okay um your your weight when once you are obese you check it out what you eat and other measures that could trigger your blood pressure losing extra pound is very very important to checkmating your blood pressure blood pressure often increases as your weight increases obviously you find out that those that are much uh, obese they, they are breathing pattern changes they, they they find it difficult to breathe and your heart is always of trying to overwork itself in order to supply enough the standard blood that should go around your uh, internal body system in order to supply nutrients, oxygen, and other valuable uh, nutrients of the, your body may require. So that is an important factor without taking medication. Extra exercising regularly is that's a very, very important uh, factor 
okay, in checkmating your blood pressure. Don't any type of blood pressure, and there are some cardiovascular uh, exercises we can be indulging every morning and that can help us lower our blood pressure. One of, you know, biking, swimming, you know, running, and it, you know, even trekking every morning or in the evening. You make it a point of duty to walk, leave your house, leave your home, walk, okay? Here in North America, we are now in summer season. So the weather is so clement. Uh, you don't have to fear of cold, what to put on, how to gadgets to put on in order to keep warm. Now everywhere within and outside is so good. In the morning and evening, I encourage you to make sure you walk. You don't have necessarily mean you must go to the gym. Okay? Take a walk. Take a jog. All right, with your family members, with your friends in the evening, burn some calories, and you will see how your heart will be pumping, and you see how light you will feel. You will feel. That's very a very very important um, factor in reducing your blood pressure to the standard or ideal value, and you have to eat. Um, healthy diet. Eating healthy is very, very important. As I was, I was telling us in my previous um, uh, uh, skit, skits that eating healthy is very, very important. Okay, making eating a balanced diet each every time, not indulging in eating junk food fry thing, food, all this thing that can trigger your blood pressure, plaque your blood vessels in terms of cholesterol, okay? This will put pressure on the heart, and the heart will tend to, you know, uh, work extra, extra, extra to, in order to supply the blood, enough blood needed for the body system. So, healthy eating, healthy diet is very, very important in reducing or checkmating or controlling our blood pressure each time. Your balanced diet, whole grain, food, okay, eat enough, as I said in earlier on in my previous uh, presentations, um, vegetables, fruits, very, very important, okay? And um, you hydrate. Hydrating is another factor. Always drink water. Water is better than taking pops, drinks that are loaded with preservatives, um, sodium, and other uh, uh, pre uh, uh, color coloring. So if you take enough water every day, not less than two liters to three liters every day, you see how your body system will be will, will come to normal. Then another thing is reduce salt. Reduce salt. You know, even here in North America, people tend to eat more salt. Add salt, add salt. If the the food is not, they don't they have that taste enough taste of that salt, they will request for more. That's not um, good for our body, our blood pressure. When that happens, it tends to make the heart overwork itself. And you eat. Uh, uh, food that are loaded with potassium. Potassium helps to, uh, you know, normalize the effects of sodium in our body. Like banana. Banana is loaded with potassium. Okay? I like eating banana each day, every day in the morning while I have my breakfast. So, if you eat well, my dear, you will see that 
your body system you lose some pounds of weight you eat a healthy diet you reduce salt all this in aggregate with you will see the end results in your health how you feel each day and if you check your blood pressure you will see that the significance uh, difference in the value of your blood pressure each day another one is limiting your alcohol intake those that take alcohol ingest alcohol every now and then you tend to uh, raise your blood pressure okay alcohol does not have any gain in you instead it, it drains you, it eats you, it kills you gradually. There is no health health benefit in alcohol. They look at even the ingredients. It's just alcohol. It makes you make your body system make you go haywire. You will not, you know, be yourself anymore. So we limit the intake of alcohol. And those who quit smoking, quit smoking, smokers, they don't live long at all. Because as you continue to uh, uh, smoke, you are endangering your respiratory uh, uh, system. Before you know it, you severe your lungs. And before you know it, you see chronic, chronic cough, chronic chronic. Uh, uh, emphysema, chronic uh, 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 respiratory problems will suit. Will you will see it? Even with alcohol, you are killing your liver. You dev end up developing liver cirrhosis. It will not be able to function. And you know the function of the liver in our body system. It filters every food, any intake, anything that comes into our body. The liver filters it before the blood is carried to other body, uh, body parts, our body organs. So when the liver is not functioning as it's supposed to, when it is uh, 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 tampered with, you see liver cirrhosis, how the, the healthy liver and the one that is not healthy, the difference is there, it's huge. So, there is, you are bound, all those uh, wastes, they will all get stuck in your body system, and you will never feel okay, never. Or every kind of diagnosis will come up in your system because there are lots of waste that are supposed to be gotten rid of in one way or the other. They build up, even hindering blood, your the nutrient that goes around your system, oxygen, from getting to your body internal organs. So. Quit limiting your alcohol intake and even going to the state of quitting, try as much as possible to quit smoking. Smoking and alcohol does has no, they don't have any benefit in our body system in making us look good. And at the end of the day, it spikes up our blood pressure. It spikes up. The, world, the heart works more extra, has extra. It works more than it's supposed to. The rate at which the heart pumps, because there are some uh, inhibitors, there are some obstacles in your blood vessel. Okay, it triggers your cholesterol. You know, plaques along the blood vessel will come up. It is not uh, good to our body. Get a good night's sleep. Sleep is another therapy to body to our health getting good health feeling good and reducing blood pressure i must tell you we that are nurses sleeping is a not is a very very important factor which we we, we we don't get enough we don't get enough because of the schedule always you work night now two weeks the next one next two weeks you you go you do day shift 
So the brain tends to, you know, they disorganize your sleep pattern, okay, varies. It's distorted because there is no pattern. But others, you, who is not a nurse, who is not in the medical health care, why? You should try as much as possible to make sure you get up to six to eight hours sleep each day. It will definitely reduce your blood pressure. You wouldn't have the need of ingesting many blood pressure medication. That should be the last resort. Okay? And you reduce stress. You don't, don't think much. Don't worry so much. Don't panic so much. How am I going to do this? How am I going to go to accomplish this? Just try to be on, on, on a comfortable, release yourself, release yourself, let it go, stress, worry, panic, you know, bias, all these things. These are what spikes the blood pressure and the heart rate will, will, will go higher because the heart will start pumping, will begin to pump higher, uh, uh, low or higher than it's supposed to. So these are the things if you reduce stress and all the stress factors, okay, that can trigger stress, you try to minimize it, you try to avoid them. It's very, very important into controlling your blood pressure. Monitor your blood pressure. At home or outside, here in North America, in drug mass, in a retail uh, outlets, shop outlets, there, there are public blood pressure machines, and they are all free of charge. And I know in Africa, I don't think that is uh, is possible. But like in Africa, uh, when I visited Nigeria, I went to shop right such places, to retail outlets. You know, can install. They can install blood pressure machine, even if they uh, uh, they will tax or they will charge people very at a very low rate. You know so that people can come you know there and check their blood pressure because blood pressure is high blood pressure is or called a silent killer it is called silent killer almost everybody has an element of blood pressure when you panic your blood heart, heart rate tends to go higher when you worry you, your blood rates uh, uh, tends to go higher, you know. But uh, later, when you get uh, cool, it will come down. But those that have triggers, those that are diagnosed of high blood pressure, stress, stress is another thing. And checking your blood pressure. There are some machines now, electronic machines, blood pressure machines, portable. You just wrap the cuff, you put it around your neck, your hand, and you press, and it will read it for you. The manual one is uh, somehow difficult. It's only the healthcare professionals that can use that one. But there are electronic blood pressure machines of different rates, of different uh, uh, prices. The lower ones, the cheaper ones you can afford. So that you and your family and the uh, elderly ones can always check your blood pressure at least once or twice a week to know, to be sure. You track your blood pressure, okay? To know when it's going higher, when it's going lower, or when it's at the standard uh, value. Very, very important, you know? And get support. Get support from family members, from friends that can always encourage you encourage you to eat well encourage you to quit smoking encourage you to limit your alcohol intake you know to eat balanced diet 
and to uh, encourage you to exercise regularly is very 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 important in keeping your blood pressure at the uh, ideal value or optimum level so i do it regularly i eat well and subsequent uh, presentations and coming up with even exercise i exercise here in my home i don't necessarily have to go to the gym and when will you move your body parts move it move it move it okay or you go to on, go online on youtube you click exercises at home cardiovascular exercises you know the ones that can move make you take care of your your uh, waist your waist you know if you are looking for a flat tummy or whatever so there are different ways but with regards to cardiovascular you move on your treadmill you move you know move your body parts and you swear out when once i swear out i know certainly that i must have shed uh, some pounds of weight and it's helping me it will help aim as many that will indulge that we take this very um, session seriously and start today if you have not started already and you will see the difference your blood pressure we definitely come at a standard level. Remember, blood pressure, high blood pressure is called a silent killer. You don't know who has, you don't know when it will strike. It can just, boom, you have that heart attack. Okay? So, when you have that cardiovascular arrest, as a result of over pumping of working of the heart that what causes it you know high blood pressure is a killer silent killer so the earlier you start controlling your blood pressure the better for you for you and for us i thank you all um, this is an important information for all and sundry okay as far as you are above even 30 above the elderly the adult the youth the the middle age people everybody so far you are from maybe age 30 35 and above you should concentrate you should show concern over your blood pressure keep record and at the end of the month you may come and do the the average and know what the average value is that will tell you if you are really uh, keeping track if you are on track with your blood pressure i thank you all and i pray and i encourage all of you my fans out there share this very clip it is very very important share share it share it okay and like and put on the notification bell so that each time I come up with any health tip, you will benefit from it. Okay? I thank you all and I say God bless. Till next time. Bye.